This first exercise um, is really to stretch the uh, back of your neck, your back, and into your hamstrings. However, in order to um, affect the stretch, there is a particular way that you need to think of your body. Um, not that you're getting into a position, but that you are letting go of your muscles so that gravity is actually pulling your weight downward. That is what is going to stretch your muscles. You want to think of collapsing, caving in, being heavy, dropping yourself. All of those uh, images or, or words help you to have a sense of weight and heaviness to your muscles. So when you collapse yourself down forward like this, you're not going to be able to breathe very well. So in order for you not to feel like you're running out of breath, we're going to start with taking a very deep breath beforehand. And it's going to sound like a big sigh, like this. Now, you'll notice that my shoulders lifted. The reason that we do that is that by lifting your shoulders as you take this big sigh, it helps the air to fill right up to the top of your lungs. So you're not just taking a breath like, that's like going up a hill and then falling back down again. We want to go up to the top of the hill, over the top, and all the way down the other side. And when you are breathing out, you'll notice that I breathed out through my mouth, slowly as my shoulders came down, and as you feel your shoulders slowly dropping, you'll feel the different individual muscles gradually letting go until there are no more muscles to let go. And then your shoulders at least will be as dropped and relaxed as they can be for now. So, we're just going to have our hands uh, resting on our legs, and I'll do this uh, big sigh with a deep breath in to start. If you just close your eyes and think inside yourself and feel what is happening. Taking a deep breath in, big sigh, lifting the shoulders up as high as you can, and then breathing out slowly through your mouth. Now just feel the different muscles in your shoulders, slowly letting go one at a time. It may feel a little spastic even, but just be aware of letting go all of the muscles that you feel in your shoulders until they're totally dropped and relaxed. And now we're going to collapse through our body if you just let your head slowly fall forward over your chest and think of all the muscles in the back of your neck, really letting the back of your head drop over as though there's water falling off the back of your head. And then just sink down into yourself. Let all of your muscles feel as though they're collapsing, as though there's, you were a sandcastle and water has been poured on the sandcastle and it's just melted down into itself. Let your lower back relax, your tummy can relax, let your chest cave in, feel your back rounding out. And this position now may start feeling that it's even pulling a little uncomfortably. If that's the case, you can lift yourself up a little until you just feel a, a comfortable kind of stretch. And you have to uh, read your own feedback so that you can gauge how much pull and how much stretch you can take at any time. So I'm going to just let myself sink down again into this totally collapsed position. And then I'm going to slip my hands under my legs just reaching down however far I can go with my hands and then just let my body drop forward. The weight of my legs is now holding me a little forward so I don't have to pull, I don't have to grip with my hands, 
I'm just letting the weight of my legs keep my weight forward. Head stays dropped over, whole body stays relaxed, the elbows are relaxed, and now you just think inside yourself and start looking for where you're feeling the muscles pulling. If you want to increase the stretch on one side of your back more than the other, you're now going to lean sideways. You will now start to feel muscles on the opposite side of your back, probably down around uh, the top of your hip bone, the left side of your lower back, just below your waist, or you may feel it higher up. There's no particular should in where you should feel it, just wherever your body is registering this stretch and this sensation is right for you. So if you now then just slowly shift your weight across through the center, allow your body to lean away from the opposite hip so you're not lifting the side, you're leaning away from the hip bone. And that is what is causing the stretch in the other side of your lower back. So you just go slowly from one side like a reed in the water, being just slowly you know, pushed across under the water, just gently with a current of water, slowly from one side to the other. Now you can bring yourself back to the center. And to bring a little more stretch into your hamstrings, you're going to slowly push out through the back of your heels, and if possible, you can even straighten your legs so that you get a really good feeling of pull through the back of your legs. And to bring yourself out of the stretch, bring your hands on top of the legs, leave your whole body totally relaxed, and just walk your hands up your legs so that you push your shoulders back over your hips, Leave your head dropped over and slowly lift yourself from the top of your spine as though there's a hook here on this bump and that's just lifting you up. Or if it feels like it's a little too difficult to come up onto your pelvis, you can push into your thighs or put your fists on the floor so that you slowly straighten the back of the pelvis first and then slowly straightening up through the spine and your head is going to come up last. Once you're up, I want you to take a good deep breath and then as you breathe out, press your shoulders backward, let your arms go back with them. See if you can contract the muscles in your upper back as you do that. That's to uh, counteract the stretch. And then bring your elbows down Feel the shoulder blades rolling up and down your back to your arms go around, big pulling back all the way down into the back. And then finish with one good press out through the back, bring your elbows forward, keeping them wide apart and your back pressing out. And then just loosen your shoulders after.